Hello, I'm uh, Melissa Menu. I'm uh, working at uh, LPP and Lerma with Sébastien Galtier and Ludovic Petit Demange. I'm currently in the uh, third year of uh, PhD, and before that, I did a master degree in astronomy and astrophysics at uh, Observatoire de Paris. My PhD subject is uh, the study of uh, the dynamo effect, and in particular, the rotating turbulent dynamos in astrophysical objects. So, what is a dynamo? A dynamo is a physical process that explains the creation or the uh, generation of a magnetic field and it can be applied to astrophysical objects like the Earth or like the Sun. So it uh, simply can be seen as the movement of uh, charged particles like plasmas in the center of uh, our object and these movements will create some uh, electric field and then a magnetic field. So these movements are uh, quite chaotic so we cannot predict uh, very simply what it will lead to. So what we use to the, for that, to, uh, to study the, these movements, are the uh, MHD equations. So uh, the, these will uh, help us to solve uh, the problem and uh, to, to study the, the behavior of the fluid. To solve these equations, because they are very complicated, we use some uh, code solver, numerical solver. And uh, in my uh, PhD project, I used two, uh, two particular solver. One is in a, a cube, so it's a study of the fluid in a cube, and we are trying to see a local effect, so how the magnetic field rises from uh, almost nothing. And uh, the other solver I'm using is a spherical solver, uh, which is uh, more close to the real geometry of uh, our astrophysical object, and it's a global study, and we see how uh, the magnetic field will evolve in time, if it will change of uh, orientation and uh, in which direction, if you lose the magnetic field or whatever. Currently, I'm working with another scientist of the LPUNS to make the link between the cubic simulation and the spherical simulation. So it, uh, it's very interesting for my project to study another geometry and to see how the results will uh, change as a function of uh, the geometry we choose. The results we obtained so far are very interesting for the dynamo community as it explains some behavior we can observe in astrophysical objects. So, for example, uh, we can find in planets and stars that most of the time the uh, magnetic uh, field axis and the rotation axis are quite aligned. They are re rarely perpendicular. So, this is uh, we study the impact on, uh, of this angle uh, on uh, the behavior of a fluid. So, for example, in the cubic simulation, we can uh, we have shown that uh, the magnetic energy is uh, much more important when uh, the two fields are aligned and uh, that is uh, increasing uh, faster. In the spherical simulation, we have shown that the uh, magnetic field explores some different states and can move around uh, the rotation axis, so with, uh, with this tilt angle, and uh, this evolution strongly also depends on uh, the parameters we choose. These results will be published in scientific reviews to uh, open them to the community. During my PhD, I uh, participated to several conferences and in particular to Plaza Par Young Researchers Day in 2018, and I obtained the prize for the best poster. Plaza Par allows us to fund uh, this research and also to meet uh, scientists of other fields, and uh, this uh, gives the opportunity to uh, have some uh, other ideas from another point of view, so it was uh, very interesting for us to have these opinions uh, on our subject. For the future, I have several options to continue in science. I'm very interested in a, a postdoc position, for example, but also for science outreach activities. But first of all, I need to uh, write my thesis and uh, defend it in a few months. Mm -hmm.